Now in its 10th year, this is GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. From Harlem in New York City. It's me, it's Alex. Yep, this is the Ramble. Hey, Lori Thompson once again. Boy, it must be Wednesday, it must be Lori. That's right. Yeah, yeah. When, yeah. What if, if Tuesday, we, it must be Belgium. We but usually Wednesday. run you on Wednesday. Mm-hmm, and then we mix good. a bunch of people up on Thursday. And then Friday, we got Bubbles. Oh, okay. Who yeah. still doesn't so, have a high speed internet? You, he doesn't. I thought he got it. He got it. He got rid of it. Oh my goodness! He didn't like it. And Whoa, I, I asked too him. Fast. I asked him yesterday because that's when I talked to him last. Why did you get rid of it? And he said, "I was watching uh, YouTube too much." Oh, so he did it as a, dip, a discipline, a self-discipline. Yeah, he said, I, I found myself constantly looking at YouTube, and I figured this is not good for me. So he had a, a month that he could try it, and at the end of the month, he told him, I don't want it anymore. Well, see, now I understand, and I can kind of appreciate that. A person who seizes the bull by the horns and mm-hmm. says, my life is not going to be this. Now, yeah, well. so... I mean, I think it would be. I think it's. I think it's Bubbles trying to live up to his reputation <laughs> of being a luddite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so we never were able to do a Zoom with him. I think he didn't want to do a Zoom. He feels he's too ugly these days oh, to be seen on Zoom. And I tell him, "Let me get this straight. You don't want to be on video, but you'll go up in front of an audience and do your act." I know. Isn't that funny? Yeah, well, people have different kind of, I don't want to call them phobias, but different things they're very comfortable with. And then similar things, you think if you can talk to a crowd of, you know, 10,000, he could talk on the Internet, but not always the way. It looks like, I mean, my, my face looks like it's a caramel that's melting. Uh, you like know. the guy in the Liberty? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I look at myself occasionally on video and go, why am I... Uh, putting my face anywhere right now oh stop yeah. stop it's and uh the thing is the way to see if you age just look at a bunch of pictures in order because you're like when did this when did i become this well i often had a story yeah. uh, uh i there is an actor uh and his name was um oh god it was on the adams family Played Uncle Fester. Uh, oh, Jackie Coogan. Jackie Coogan. Uh, Jackie Coogan was, started his career with Charlie Chaplin playing the kid in the movie The Kid. Mm-hmm. And he was considered the most adorable kid in America. You know, and he was. You look at him, he's just adorable. Mm-hmm. You want to pinch his cheek. Okay. Now you moved 40 years ahead. Okay. And he's on the Adams family as Uncle Fester. You remember what an Uncle Fester looked like? That wasn't makeup. <laughs> <laughs> that He was bald. He looked just like that. Okay. And I often wondered what morning did, you know, Jackie Coogan wake up from being the cutest kid in America, look in the America and the mi- <laughs> in the mirror and say, what the fuck happened to me? Yeah, but you know, yeah, and I occasionally is- I look and I do the same thing. What the fuck happened to me? Yeah, it's it's so gradual. I mean sometimes there's like an accident, you know, or an event mm-hmm. that will trigger the trigger uh, you know, a big change in your appearance or your persona or something. Right. But but usually it's it's so gradual you don't notice it. I don't look that bad, do I? I mean, have no, I have I aged badly? Have I aged badly? 
No, you look the same to me as when we were working together. Really? No, uh, yep. not that. Look at this. Look at this thing. That thing. The oh, uh, you know, the neck thing. Nora Ephron wrote a book called I Hate My Neck. And <laughs> they, you hate this because there's no way you can disguise it. Turtlenecks don't do it. You know, mm-hmm. it's just, I, I know I, I can play a banjo song on my neck. <laughs> really? No, it's not that. Yeah. Well, let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's not that. No. What you well, got it's not. is you got the I'm... thing w- with here, you know. It, it, yeah. You have a double kind of thing going here. Yeah. Well, and when I was young, I had kind of my sister called it the Jim Morrison neck. You know, yeah. there was that one picture yeah. that he, he took at the top of his looks, and he had that big neck. And that I didn't mind, but. You know, that was someone said, uh, who was it? Ray Manzarek of the Doors said Jim Morrison was that good looking for about five minutes. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, that iconic photo. He was a loser, man. It packs the weight on. It packs the weight on and it does stuff to your face that you can't believe. Oh, you know? And you know what? What else does? I interviewed, I've interviewed more than one plastic surgeon smoking. It oh, smoking. Yeah. Yeah. I've been told that by plastic surgeons. Yeah. That smoking yeah. is really bad for your looks. Because it cuts the circulation to your face by 80%. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, alcohol, although I had a person who, a friend of mine who was, uh, you know, who died of alcoholism. He died from yeah. cirrhosis of the liver. And he uh, he didn't look too bad. I I quite frankly I never pegged him as the alcoholic he was. And Me I was, either. I, was I didn't know near, you know, obviously as well huh? as you. I didn't know him nearly as well as you. I knew him on occasion, and yeah, I never would have pegged him. I even went out where we had drinks, and he didn't. Listen, he had like one margarita. I was with him. We traveled across the United States together. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm not saying who it is because I don't want to embarrass him. He's yeah. dead, but I don't want to embarrass him. But we drove across the country together. And we I remember we stopped at a Costco in Wyoming somewhere. Huh? Uh, I can't tell you where because every Costco in America looks the, looks same. the same. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you you want the cheese? You know exactly where to go for the cheese in any Costco. Although the difference in some Costco's is in in uh, California, they can sell liquor in the Costco. Yeah, where that in New very... York they can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's funky. Yeah. you know the boot, the hooch laws. So anyway, he we stopped at this Costco and he comes out of it with two gallons of vodka. Oh my! <laughs> that might have been an indicator. But I didn't pick up on it. I didn't pick yeah. up on it. I thought he just wanted a little. Uh, he, he maybe it was cheaper in Wyoming. He wanted to take it home <laughs> with him. Yeah, the handles are cheaper in Wyoming. Yeah, but yeah, yeah it's um, it's it's an interesting uh, affliction, I guess, alcoholism. Well, I've, uh, yeah, I've decided though, as I've gotten older, you know, I'm I'm towards the end of my life. One of these days, I, you're going to get the word, "Hey, Bennett's dead." Or, you know. I know I dread that day. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, I so, uh, no one dreads it more than I do. Okay, <laughs> so maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I'll go before you. I'll do you a solid. But okay? anyway, well, you know, I mean, like my friend Shecky. Oh, uh, we were talking about Shecky. He died. <laughs> he was sixty-seven. He told me he just put me in his will for an amazing amount of money, mm-hmm. and I said to him. The first thing I said to him was, that's very nice, Shecky, but, you know, I'm not going to outlive you, okay, because you're 67 and I'm 84, 83 at the time. And I said, I'm not, you know, going to, uh, you know, I'm no way I'm going to outlive you, but it's very nice that you thought of me. Yeah. You know, and that, yeah. that was all, you know, and that's all I thought about it. Two months later, he was dead. Yeah, now you know, so you don't know, you don't know. Is it a slow hospitalized death with cirrhosis? No, he actually started passing out, and one day they found him passed out in his house, and they rushed him, took him to the hospital, and he he never left the hospital. Yeah, because um, I I have known of people, and I never got the details on what exactly cirrhosis will do. Well, it, you know, it's the one disease, if you've got it, folks, so your doctor says you've got cirrhosis of the liver, if you just stop drinking, 
it's going to stop progressing. Yes, and take milk thistle. Milk thistle can help. Well, forget about the medical advice. (laughs) You know, the fact is that if you just stop drinking, you will, you'll stop getting cirrhosis. It won't get any worse. It won't get better. It doesn't. It doesn't uh, fix itself, but, you, you know, you can live with what you got. You, you know, your liver, you can lose a lot of your liver, and you're still in good shape. I mean, people yeah. donate a liver to somebody, but they don't give the whole liver. They just chop off. It's like kind of kind of like at the meat market where you say, give me uh, just a pound of liver. So he cuts it off, you know. Yeah. You can live with half a liver, for instance, and they take that half a liver and they give it to somebody else. And they regenerate because, yeah. I don't know how, if it regenerates to full size or whatever, but it saves your life, you know. Yeah. But if you're an alcoholic, they're kind of reticent to give you a liver, okay? Because I know David Crosby, fit. remember? He was on that list for so long because of his checkered substance abuse history. Right. And, mm-hmm. But I don't think he died of any of those things. But he did stop all the thing bad stuff he was doing, you know. And I th- was, he did get the liver too, I think, didn't he? Was it a liver that he got? I guess. I, I believe. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, I so I I I, I just uh, you know um, it, it, it. So he you never know, you know, who's going to go before you. And, yeah. and uh, constantly I hear about people I knew, like, you know, uh, comedians who will go. For instance. Yeah. And, 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 and there have been a few. And, and and I, and I'll, were- I'll go, how come I outlive them? You know, they yeah. were supposed to outlive me. It's the luck of the draw. Yep. Well, the- uh, who knows? I mean, but anyway, I'm, I'm old enough that you may get that call. Yeah. Or you may and not. I, you, know, you, you know, I may, I could probably go. My mother went to 100. I, I could probably go to 100. Oh, you but, will. W- yeah. With the way I feel right now, I don't want to go to 100. I know. It's like, can we, can we cast our vote? Nick's on 100. Well, you yeah. know, I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble walking. Yeah. I know. And that's a drag. I mean, I'm having trouble like with, or the reason I'm getting this MRI. Oh, yeah. You're getting, uh, we we're going to say she's getting an MRI. What for? Or um, see, because I have had more concussions than anybody who's never played in the NFL. I mean, I just—I just thought it was that you were dumb. <laughs> Not concussive, just stupid. Yeah. But uh, yeah. no, it's—I've really done a lot of damage to my noggin, which in effect, you know, it affects everything else. Mm-hmm. So at least I'll just have some questions answered, and we can fix what's going on. Because uh, it's it's just. Are you feeling the results of the concussions? I mean, are oh, you? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, how does how's it manifesting itself? It, it manifests itself in questions of balance, and also. Oh, well, I've just, got balance problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the reason. The reason I'm getting that because I have fainting problems. We figured out that was the sodium, the low sodium. But I'm just going to get this because I've never, except for the time I was in that car wreck in mm-hmm. ninety. Um, I've never had one, and I've had a lot of concussions. Well, it still could be that none of them took effect on you. I hope. I hope. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, I mean, and and they probably are. They're doing an MRI. I guess yeah. They have to look at your brain, right? Yeah. I can't. I can't do an MRI because you're claustro. Oh God. Yeah. They ask you that. When you're booking it, yeah, <laughs> booking it, um, like a flight. So they ask you when you um, when you schedule the MRI. Oh, I have deadly. You know, I mean, it's, it's like if you put me in there, I'd be screaming and yelling. Wow, because see, I have claustrophobia with low ceilings. Yeah, but no, that but doesn't bother like me. You know, I mean, there are things that haven't bothered me. Um, uh, bring up Shecky again. We went across the United States. We went to these caves, Mammoth Caves, I think. That's, um, that, that's my area of the country. Those are in Missouri, I believe. No, and then they no, have no. Then, Caverns, then it was, right? Maybe it wasn't Mammoth, but it was it was here on the west co- east coast. Oh, okay. Giant, yeah. giant underground cave, one of the largest, largest in America, I think. Wow. And so we 
what the hell, let's take the tour. So we took the tour. And we went through areas that were very low and closed in and stuff like that. I, I, I Not really closed in because it, it went up to my neck. But I could uh-huh. see either way this way, and I was fine. Well, I well, was fine, good. and I got through it okay. Mainly because all, also because I was with a lot of other people. But you put me in this little tube, you know. I mean, mm-hmm. fa- our friend uh, Chuck Farnham had to have an MRI, and they had to send him. He's so fat. <laughs> they had to send him someplace where I don't know. They do MRIs on elephants, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, anyway, uh, bring out the packager model. <laughs> yeah, I, t- I if they had to do an MRI on me, I hear here they have open MRIs, and I think I could probably do that. And I'm okay yeah. with C uh, what are they called? C scans, you know. Uh, uh, cat scans. Cat scans, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah. you know, those are fine. I don't have a problem with those. Well, I just want to get some kind of. Uh, bill of health or bill of you know problems we can treat so they won't be so painful and because once so you, you got, have pain too oh gosh man i have pain in my in my back it's not actually in my legs and my back and the, and it's like caused by mother the dear you're growing old oh i know and i hate it i hate even talking about it because i used to say can old older people talk about something other than their ailments and procedures there, no and, absolutely not there's nothing else to talk about <laughs> well that's good because I, I i'm a i'm a healthy but yet i go and i get these i have low low blood pressure and i have all these tests they take on me and i'm in like robust health and it's like well that doesn't help me when i have to you know wince when i walk to the mailbox right Right. Yeah, that's that's so, what so, I was. So 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 uh, you're having a CAT scan to look and see if you had any da- damage from all these concussions. Right. Okay. And well, and I sprained my ankle too. And then we went to Europe, and I probably should not. It was dumb. It was very dumb to walk on that ankle all over Europe. Um, but it, I think, aggravated whatever is causing me the back problem. Because then you know your body compensates yeah. and. It's just it's a it's I want it fixed. I want it fixed. So yeah. I'm your well, you know, we're going to f- Paris and I've got this walking problem and I just she's ordered me up a wheelchair at the airports. I I have taken one of the airport ones that when I when I uh, twisted my ankle. What is, yeah. the, is it electric or what? No, they have assigned you a wheelchair pusher and uh, it's it's kind of great in some ways. Because you avoid a lot of the lines. That's why. Well, yeah. Well, don't I, I, well, I'm, on, I'm on TSA pre-check. I am too. But Marjorie, but Marjorie hasn't gotten hers yet. Well, if you you got to mention it on your ticket when you book your ticket, or it's no good. I know. It's on my ticket now, but it, she hasn't gotten hers yet. Huh. Yeah. Well, I they, wonder if you can expedite they, that. They said they're still checking it. <laughs> you don't know about her past. Well, she has uh, some things in her past, you know, but nothing that should stop them from giving her a pre-check, you know. Right. Yeah. And it's a lot of people are getting wise to it because it does uh, let me put it this, Let me put it this way, TSA. Uh, she's uh, 80 years old. I hardly <laughs> think she's a danger to America. Okay. That's, that's like it's like I'm a retired woman. What do you think I'm going to do? Suddenly get a terrorist? Bench? And then I got the TSA pre-check, but they said now if you're in another country and you want to come here, you have to have another thing too. Yeah, yeah. What, it's what, just what is that? It's bureaucracy making more jobs. Jeez. That's what it is. All I want, all I want, is to be able to flow through these things. I mean, I can get through anything TSA, but if I'm coming back from another country, I still have to go through all that Michigas. It's know. nonsense, you know. Because but I'll, I'll be, be in a wheelchair and I'll have my cane and I'll be yelling like an old man. Let me through. That's right. Damn it! Damn it! Move it! I want to go to McDonald's before they close. Yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to get on this um, airplane. You know. <laughs> Where's my snacks? Yeah. But uh, it, yeah, it's. I mean, and I had a legit, legitimate reason for getting the wheelchair. But part of me, you know, the, the troubleshooting part thought, 
this is pretty handy. <laughs> this kind of cuts that time between flights. Can make them fun. <laughs> You know they they've ordered one up for me here, and then one one once we get to Paris, yeah, uh, and uh, we're, we're getting picked up by somebody. They got the car arranged and everything. Yeah, you know. and higher cars are worth the price. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Hey, listen, they, we've got all this money. We don't care how much we spend. Exactly, and that is such a cool. Like Marjorie uh, is uh, was ordering up. Uh, up, she says we've got to get this cruise for the spring. I said, oh, okay, fine. What 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 do you got? She says, do you want a big room or a small room? I said, get big. a big room. I said, I, I I don't want to be stuck on a boat in a small room, right? That's in fact, key. give me the captain's room and kick him out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll get so you anyway, I say get a, get a big room. We'll go down. Yeah. Uh, what what river do you want to go down? I said I don't care, just as long as it's a river. Yeah. Okay. Danube's good. And I said Danube. I've heard is pretty good, and so on and so forth. Yeah. You know, but I want I want that cruise because all I have to do is if I want to get off the boat and go see these towns a little bit, I can hobble around. You know, that's it. Yeah, uh, just but don't if I if it's too much walking, then I'll just stay on the boat, and you know. Yeah, yeah. Just um, that's why they get you with these excursions, you know. But they all are like five hours, and they many of them involve a lot of walking. When you can just do that yourself, you know. Well, I'll just explore the city myself at my own pace. You know. Yeah, that's what I did in Porto Fino. Ricky went around and looked at things, and I just, I just chilled and and just. I had been there before, so I walked around to see what I remembered, and yeah. uh, that's the way. It goes. She's the inveterate traveler, folks, because her her husband loves to travel. Just yes, loves to travel. Uh huh. And- I know, and he he is good at making all the arrangements. I mean, he is detailed. Yeah, do you have, do you, but you have a travel agent too, right? We do. Yeah. So you can, the travel agent does a lot of that work of setting stuff up, like you know, wheelchairs yeah. and, and and he has a really good relationship, a real good communication with our travel agent. Yeah. So we're definitely. I, I've never talked to our travel agent. I don't think Marjorie has either. She just keeps emailing her back and forth and texting her and saying we need this, we need that. And the woman said, you know. We've got a, 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 a car ready for you at the airport in Paris, and blah 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 blah, and uh, everything. It's it really kind of worth it to have a travel agent. Oh know? yeah, it is worth it. We got this one that we use all the time. Rick does a lot of the research himself because yeah. that's his hobby. You know. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, his research is on where you go, what, when you're going to go, maybe what kind of room you have, you know, what you want. Because you have to tell the agent what you want. They, they exactly. just yeah. pull it up for you. And also what the temperatures are going to be. Because we went on a, the Danube. And so we were in Austria when there was a cold snap. It was a, It was really in the spring when we went. But, man, it was in you the know, 20s. The spring sounds like it would be nice. Yeah. You know, but if you get a, a, a um, what do you call it, a cold snap. Oh, they're awful. I, I remember them, but, you know, it did yeah. ring home because they took us to one of the concentration camps. And I thought, I, I stood, you know, I stood in that big yard and I thought, I, do, I can't imagine standing in this for 10 minutes. You know, I'm such a wuss. It would be so cold. I would just. Yeah, but don't you know, worry. You're not a Jew. That's right. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, and I'm watching this Spielberg produced uh movie documentary about the jews a a lot of it was they were you know propagandized you know get on this oh we're going to take you to somewhere safe and then they get on and find their cattle you know i have this friend i did an interview with him who was in a concentration camp yeah and uh in fact met mengele no really mengele saved his life because he was a doctor. Okay, if you went, if he, if, if, if he was, he was seeing the kids, young kids, and this was he was a young kid at the time, and he was checking them out and everything. And he does this with them on his cheeks and says, "You're such a sweet boy," you know. And he said, um, 
uh, how old are you? And he lied because he didn't want to say he was 12 because if he was 12, they'd kill you. Yeah. You just weren't any good to them. So he said, I'm 14. And they said, fine. He said, go over there. If he had said, go over there, he was going to the gas chamber. If he was going over there, he's going to a work detail. Yeah, and, 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 and Mengele saved his life. Isn't that an irony? Wow. And uh, Sophie's Choice, I finally watched for the first time, old, old movie with Meryl Streep about yeah, that. Yeah. And uh, it was, you know, you, you didn't know what the consequences of your choices were going to be. Yeah. You know, yeah. you had to imagine them and do, do your best guess. And, and you had to make those decisions with the absence of any kind of information. That's it. That's what I mean. You know, None. Uh, uh, her choice was she had to choose which child she wanted to keep. Yeah. Right. And I think she sent the boy because her rationale was he would have a better chance of survival than her little girl who was, a, she was a top. Uh, horrible, horrible thing. The only thing worse is Donald Trump. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wasn't it nice his little stunt? You know, like people who pay X amount for plate for these dinners in town halls want to see him jam. Well, it was, it was sing roses. along with Donald. I know. You know, I mean, <laughs> it's just uh, like, we'll, we'll just go over a little bit here because we're in sync today, folks, and nothing is hey. going bad. Um, uh, yeah, that was that was insane. Sing along with Donald, you know. Yeah, so, was, was it? And Michigan? he does. He jer jerks off two people with one. Like, <laughs> it's this jerking off two people thing. Was he twerking or jerking? Uh, <laughs> Who cares? Because I mean. Uh, Anyway, I have to get out of here because I'm going to PT. I'm going to physical th therapy. And you're so looking forward to it. Yeah, Sylvester the cat is going to physical therapy. <laughs> well, well, it's good that you're being diligent about and I'll it. See you in, I'll see, well, we tape these every couple of weeks. I'll, I'll see you in a couple of weeks or next week on the program. Super. Ladies and gentlemen, that's her nibs, Miss... Lori Thompson. Thank you, Lori. My pleasure, baby. Hi, darling. Now in its 10th year, this is GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yeah, thank you, Lori. Thank you, and let me turn on the lights here. There we go. Now I'm, now I'm all bright and everything. I forgot to turn on the lights ahead of time. Oh, well. That's just me, you know, I'm screwing up all the time. Wow, there's only one person waiting tonight to go on and talk with me and uh, talk with you. Uh, uh, oh, now we have two. Now we have two. Um, it's ridiculous. Okay, well, anyway. How, how are all of you? Have you had a nice weekend? Did you have a nice uh, couple of uh, first days of the week? Okay, fine. I'm trying to just adjust this so I can hear this right. Okay, there we go. Okay. Anyway, let me uh, let me bring on these peop these two people that are here. Uh, first of all, there is uh, uh, um, Charlie Wallace, and then there is uh, Jeff Stein. So let me show you those people. There they are. Well, Jeff is still having trouble connecting his audio. And uh, so is Charlie, <laughs> but I think Charlie just connected. Hi, Charlie. Hi. There he is. Don't trip. I do random gravity checks. Yeah, I don't <laughs> trip. I do random gravity checks. Oh, okay. Hey, listen, you are the only two guys on here tonight. Two. Right. Why do I do this? Why do I do it? I don't understand. I, all, all it does is depress me. Yeah. You know? What's well, going to depress me when you leave, when you stop doing it? Yeah, well, a couple of weeks I'm going to stop doing it for at least a week or so. Because okay. we're going on uh, oh, that's right. on yeah. hiatus. Uh, I'm going to stumble all the way to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, Paris. I'm, I'm actually dreading it, to be honest with you. Mm. And I'm only doing it for Marjorie. Uh, actually, huh? 
That's a good reason to do it, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, I would also like to do uh, uh, go up. I want to take that uh, that uh, cruise uh, up to to Alaska. Yes. The Alaskan cruise is supposedly terrific. Have you ever mm. done that, Ray? I haven't, but I want to do it myself. I've always wanted to. Yeah, I've heard that it's terrific. You know, yeah, it's really beautiful. We took it with my parents because uh, my dad had all kinds of problems. And they had a system where they would take him and give him his injections while you're on that trip. Hmm? It's pretty cool. Right. Can I get injections? Well, <laughs> probably. I'll bring my heroin along. <laughs> <laughs> I've been joking about that. Maybe lately. that's available. What? I've been joking about that lately. You know that, that that doctors will give you almost a prescription for anything, right? The older you get, the more prescriptions they will give you without thinking twice about it. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking that if I asked for heroin, they'd probably give it to me. Oh, he's he's 84. He's 85. He's, you know, he's he. How much longer does he have to live? Let's let him enjoy it. Give him some heroin. Yeah, heroin comes in the form of narcotic painkillers nowadays. <laughs> yeah, Oxycontin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah actually, yeah, heroin, billy heroin. Heroin's probably not as dangerous as those are. Oh, yeah, it is. No, not necessarily. Uh, how, how do they get it into the country? They just load it in bags and it comes in the country? I don't know. I have no idea, but the only thing that makes it dangerous is the reason is that it's illegal. But compared to those other drugs, which they yeah. did prescribe, it's nothing compared to those. Yeah. Well, you should ask your doctor for some. Nah, the problem sure. is you buy heroin on the street, you don't know what you're getting it cut that's with. That's right. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of well, ketamine. That, well, that, that's the problem. That's the problem. Not ketamine. Uh, yeah. What's the other one? Um, that, no. The, Fentanyl. fentanyl, yeah. Propofil or whatever? No. Fentanyl. Fentanyl, yeah. Yeah, well, I assume the fentanyl problem is out there. Oh, it's huge. Yeah. You know. Um, it's so it's so bad that people start with the heroin, and then they find out there's fentanyl in it, and then they just search for the fentanyl because it's way stronger. Wow. And it ends up killing them. Wow. Well, you know, yeah. even fentanyl wouldn't be dangerous if you had a doctor prescribe it to you and you knew the dose you were getting. Yeah. Right. But right, unfortunately, but take way too unfortunately much. we make drugs illegal. Yep. And by making them illegal, we thereby make them dangerous. I was listening to a podcast once, and I think I think it was Sweden, where they take heroin addicts, yeah. and they go in the morning, and they pick up their heroin, mm -hmm. and, it, and it's... And it's safe heroin, you know, it's not from the street. And uh, they use their heroin every day and they go to work and they come back. And when they're ready to quit this organization, they think it's a government thing, they help them quit. But they don't push them into it or anything. Well, the thing is that with heroin, uh, you can do it um, in minor amounts, okay? Um, you, you can do it in not minor amounts, but in specified amounts, and if it's government controlled and the government is is uh, checking out the heroin to make sure it's okay, and it's prescription heroin, then it's no problem. There are people who can work on it. They can do everything. They can, you know, I, I've known people who were functional heroin addicts. Well, it's uh, just another opiate. Yeah. It just happens to be the bad opiate. No, for well, sake. no, it was made the bad opiate. Here's yeah. what that's happened. What I, that's what I mean, yeah. Well, here's what happened. We decided, well, we're going to give them a good opiate, and we gave them, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Oxycontin. No, no. Oh. Uh, uh, Morphine? No, what was, the, what was the drug they were giving out? Uh, oh, uh, the one that's that substitute. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, What's the one? No, no, the one they substitute for heroin when you're trying to get off of it. Methadone. Uh, that is methadone. Methadone, which yeah. is methadone. worse than heroin. Yeah, it is harder to get off of. You know, what they did is they said, "Well, we'll get you on this drug because this is government approved." Yeah. But it was harder to get you off of that than it was to get you off heroin. They're still doing that. With the methadone. Yeah. That's for ridiculous. Heroin addicts. That's ridiculous. I know. Horrible drug. 
I knew people who were on it who said they couldn't get off of it, but they knew they could get off of heroin if they had to. You know, it's uh, difficult. Hmm? It's difficult to get off heroin, even if you think you can. No, no. Very, the only reason it's addictive. difficult to get off heroin is that you are depriving your body when you do heroin. Uh, you, uh, your body needs endorphins, okay? And if you start doing heroin, the heroin substitutes for the, uh, the, for the endorphins. And then your body goes, well, I don't, you know, I, I need the endorphins, but I am accepting mm. the heroin. So you get hooked on the heroin, and what you're getting hooked on is the need for endorphins. Uh, but we, you know, if we did something like, I know I'm no doctor, so please, you know, don't don't take this to the bank. But if we at least gave people endorphins, we might be able to replace it somehow. But it, it what happens is, you, it, when you do heroin, your body shuts down its endorphin-producing ability, uh, and so therefore, it's harder to quit heroin. Because the problem you, is what? Yeah. yeah what are you, you're, say? You're, you have to allow your body to become able to produce the endorphins and GABA and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. All all those receptors go to sleep when when, you have, yeah. when you're on and heroin takes, or benzodiazepines, and it takes a long time, especially with the benzos, but also the opiates for for those to come back to life for your, and do well, that for you for, instead for, of the drug. For your endorphins to come back, your endorphins yeah. producing, mm -hmm. can take up to a year. And well, that's I was on benzos for 18 years. Yes, and you were telling me, me about years. that. Yeah. It took me three years. I went through three years of, wow. of withdrawals. I mean, I've been on this show going through withdrawals. I don't say anything. I'm fine now, but it took me three years. I mean, oh, you, were you, go, don't you worry about going? it, Ray. We know you're not fine. You it were, was horrible. It was horrible. Wait a minute. You were going through withdrawals because you were not able to do this show. No, what uh. I'm saying is, is I kept, do, I kept doing, I kept doing things, mm -hmm. but I was really struggling. Yeah. Well, yeah. What were you taking? And oh, well, uh, I was taking, I was taking clonopin for 18 years, wow. but it was prescribed to me for some stupid reason, like insomnia or something. And uh, I and I couldn't get off of it, and so I just kept taking it because he told me it was fine. And then I found out mm -hmm. it was screwing with me in so many ways, so I had to get off of it. Yeah, and it was absolutely brutal. Well, the reason and I had to switch yeah. to Valium and right. Well, the reason why, is a what, lot easier, the isn't it? Reason why it people, was easier to get off of than the clinic. the reason why people can't get off of uh, heroin easily is because they're actually having to get along without endorphins. As a matter of fact, it's horrible. Have you ever heard of a runner's high? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Runners get so addicted to running that it creates an artificial. It creates uh, an endor endorphins in your body, and a, a, and a, and kind of like it's almost like heroin, uh, using heroin in your body. And people who get into a uh, you know into a, a, a joggers high uh, have a hard time getting off jogging because they start. You know, getting all the side effects and everything that you get from, you know, quitting a, a drug. So, you know. You know I'm, I'm, I, maybe you can explain to me. I'm a little confused, Alex. How does heroin, it, 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 it's, it's the opposite of endorphins. Endorphin is a rush or a high. Which is like amphetamine yes. or methamphetamine. Yes. Or it's heroin what you, is just. Or the if you if you hurt yourself. Your body produces endorphins to prevent you from yeah. getting pain for a while. It's kind of your naturally produced right, uh, uh, painkiller. Okay. Except for a downer doesn't give you endorphins. Heroin, well, it, heroin's a downer, so I'm lost what you're saying. Wait a minute, well, that, there are it, other hormones. It, there are it, other hormones. It's not just the endorphins. There are other hormones that it affects. Oh, I, I'll buy that part. No, the but it, no, but it, it, take it from me. I mean, it it replaces. Uh, it replaces the endorphins, the heroin, okay. and others, and other hormones, and your yeah. body's need. Because I went through this, whole and thing. worse, your body's need to produce it, so yep. you don't produce it. Okay, and what happens? Uh, you uh, you get uh, you, you get withdrawal symptoms. So well, there's also there's also a hormone called GABA, GABA, and um, 
I don't know the whole gabapentin. medical. It's well, that's it's yeah. like gab gabapentin replaces that, but it is the thing that helps you control like your emotions and all that stuff, and that's that gets totally screwed up. Well, with... that's that's called marriage. <laughs> yeah, but that's yeah. that's yeah, yeah. marriage. Yeah. Look at him; he's applauding. That, yeah, that's what they give you Valium for if you're married, so you can stay married. You take the Valium. <clears throat> Split it with your wife. Yeah, there's but... endorphins, there's GABA, there's a bunch of there's a neuroprenephrine. Uh, they all get they all get they're, they're, they're they chemicals. all go to sleep with these drugs. They're chemicals in your brain. Yeah, and they all go and and your these drugs stop your body from being able to produce it on its own. Right. So it's, it doesn't need to anymore. Right. So it's it's yeah it's it's uh, uh, serotonin and norepinephrine. Which yeah, are the, all the right. They all get the shut two, down. Which are the two chemicals in your brain that rather cause anxiety or cause depression? Yeah, and uh, a lot of other things. Well, too. those are the two most popular ones, but there's a whole bunch of them. Right, Ray's got them all, by the way. No, I'm just saying because I had to learn about all this because I went I through know. it. It was well. I'm okay. taking I'm taking pregabalin, which is a form of gabapentin. You know. Yeah. Uh, and but that's uh, for like nerve pain, right? Yes, for nerve pain. Yeah. Yeah. But all I'm saying is that you don't want your body to shut down your endorphin producing uh, ability, right. and when you do, it takes almost a year for it to kick back into into place again. So, or more, you know. So that's yeah. why it's uncomfortable to quit heroin because heroin at least is producing that endorphin high. When you yeah. see people on the street that use heroin. And they're not getting their fix. They say they're getting sick. They feel sick. Yeah. Well, they say they're, Jones way, they're going through withdrawal. Hey, now. listen, yeah. uh, folks, don't get the idea I'm saying heroin is wonderful or anything like that. But I'm saying that when you compare it to something like uh, what were we talking about earlier? Um, uh, yeah, methadone. Me huh? Methadone. Methadone. Uh, methadone. Yeah. Methadone's much worse. Much worse. It, ask any addict who has been switched off on the on the methadone, and they'll tell you it's worse than heroin. Right. It's FDA methadone, approved and method, controlled. Yeah. yeah, method, that's right. It's a good. Well, there was an old song that we used to sing when Rockefeller's selling skag, but he says it's phony. Stick a needle in your arm and call it methadone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did we get on this subject? I don't know. It's a cool subject. <clears throat> wow, you really fly, don't you? You're back home, Ray. <laughs> Me? You no, no, Brian. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, those are those. He are was true. in Southern California just two days ago. T t took his oh. kid down to Disneyland. Yep, yeah. Yep. How'd it go? Uh. I'm glad that's over with. Uh. What? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why are you glad that's over with? No, it's just you know, it's one day of chaos. That's all. But well, yeah, what, what's so. the day of chaos? Being at Disneyland. You know, you know, well, you know, Disneyland and California Adventure is side by side. California yeah. Adventure actually is more fun for, for kids her age, a lot more rides and stuff. Disneyland is Disneyland. But, you know, I walk around the place and there's just people standing everywhere. And there's people standing waiting to eat. There's people eating. There's people standing in line for the rides. And there's just people standing everywhere on their phones or waiting for people. And it's just like a big mess. It's like, geez, we, we cruised around Disneyland, actually. We didn't do, oh, we did the, the Star Wars stuff. And mm -hmm. then and then we got out of there. And then she's like, let's go back to California. Went back to California Adventure Park and went and ride some more rides over there. So, yeah. You know what the neat thing is? After you pay your $600 to get into both parks, <laughs> you got to get a, you got to get something to eat or drink. And it's more expensive than no. No, we were smart. Actually, our hotel is right across the street. And so uh, we went from 8 o'clock, right when the park opened, until noon. And then noon, we she wanted to go get some uh, dumplings or something, some good food. So we actually went out the park mm -hmm. and, and took the car, went down the street, and went down to the dumpling place, came mm -hmm. back. I took a power nap. And then we were back at the park at three o'clock until they closed. So they, they it, yeah, you, it worked out really good. They let you in for a whole day on one ticket. Is that what happens? Oh yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you can bounce back and forth. So we bounced back and forth to different parks a couple times. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like California Adventures. Yeah, yeah. yeah because it has the Cars ride. It has. 
you know, those type of things. The it has roller coasters and everything. Yeah. Oh, the roller coaster is my favorite roller coaster ever. That one's the yeah. plus. Which one is that? It's an Incredibles, but it starts at a, it starts, you know, here. Mm-hmm. It doesn't go click, 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 click. There's one spot that it does, but it just starts here and it just goes. Mm-hmm. And it goes up and it goes up. So it's like a car, you know, it just like floors it. And it's, it's, it's pretty cool. You know, my it's friend. with Maglev, my... isn't it? Huh? It's not like a high speed train. It's done with maglev. It's not like I, I don't know. I don't the click, know. click, click is a mechanical thing. But well, a lot yeah, of all real I know fast is, roller coasters. All, all I know click. is that I uh, hold on a second. Let me turn this down. There we go. Uh, 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 the one thing that I know and that I remember is that um, uh, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Her rides but Mickey, Mickey is there, and there's a long line for a picture with him. You, you know go something? over here, and there's a line I, I, here. I just think that if you're going to run a place like Disneyland, okay, it should be easy for people to get on every ride or to go into. Too, hmm? too many people. Yeah, it's too many people. Well, it's too then, many people. Okay, there. then I got a better suggestion. Only allow so many people in. Yeah. They have to buy advance tickets, and you only let so many people in every day. You don't they let it get so. Money. What? I they realize that, and I'm I, I I know that's the evil in it all. Okay, but you mm-hmm. should should be able to go down there and not have to wait in long lines to go on everything. You know, but you realize people, how profitable that company is. And they people don't all over money. the yeah, people all over why. the world, people all over the world want a picture in front of the castle. You know, it's like yeah, you know, you're not going to believe this, but Disney is in trouble. Really? Well, they right. just lost their CEO yesterday. They're so huge. They're into everything. No, they didn't lose their CEO. That's, that implies he got fired. Uh, his time was up. He, Iger said he would go in there for two years, mm-hmm. and now he's leaving. Yeah. Oh. So he lo- they lost their CEO. I didn't. I didn't say they fired him. Yeah, but it sounds like he got fired when you say okay. they lost. It sounds him. like he died. Is the way out. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if you follow the business news, that it, it says you that obviously injured. don't follow it because you didn't know that he actually quit. I'll, I'll Google that because I I didn't follow it enough. <laughs> it <didn't> <laughs> oh boy, well, have, I got an, you, have I got another Phil? Fill. Have I got another Phil on my hands that every time you I fill, challenge I him, he has like... to look the thing up to make sure he's right, and then of course yeah. he proves himself wrong. But you know. Wow, Disney stock's been going down. I'm going to buy so This is a good time to buy it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you know, two weeks ago, you should have bought Trump stock when it was $7 a share. It's $31 a share now. Yeah, it's going back really? down. Really? It's going back wow. down. It's going back down. Well, it's going Volatile. back down. Roller coaster. In fact, maybe I, he buys I think, and sells I, I, think it's, back. I think it's back down to like 7 bucks again. Hmm. Well, well, I'll tell you. I have it on my. I have it on my phone. I'll tell you exactly what why. Or did you buy stock in it? Are you fucking kidding me? No way. <laughs> it's up a dollar fifty two at thirty five ninety one today. Then how come he's selling it? I don't think he is. I think he's holding it until he thinks it's going to go back to one hundred and fifty dollars yeah. or whatever. It's not. The minute no this way. election is over, with either way, it's going down. Yeah. Well, I think the reason it's going back up is when when he had his I don't know what they call it at ex dividend date or whatever where where he can take the money out. He said he wasn't going to take it. Of course, you know. It but was he wasn't. To be of course, he six. wasn't going to take it because if he took all of his out, that stock would have tanked. It already tanked. It was already at seven. So people were afraid they were going to take his fifty one percent out. They were going to go out of business. So. You know, um, he thought he would just, he's done the smart thing. He wait until it goes back up. Mm. Trump did a smart thing. No, you know, uh, he's it, never done it, a smart thing. It happens thing. once every 10 years, so. No, I know. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Iger did leave. I knew that, but I didn't know that he was going to leave. I don't follow the stock that close. It was just in the news. So You said that already. So go ahead. Yeah. Alex, you were right. I was wrong. Alex, you were right. I was wrong. Oh, man. Thank you We got a much. drink. Ooh. Not prepared for this. We got a drink. <laughs> There's the toilet near you. <laughs> anyway. So, Ray, Ray, are you doing any work? 
you act doing any acting? Uh, yeah, I'm in, I'm rehearsing for a play right now. I don't have I I wasn't called tonight. That's why I'm here. Mm. You mean you weren't called tonight? It's called it's called Truce. It's about uh when a German platoon and an English platoon in the trenches in World War One uh, called off the fighting so they could celebrate Christmas together. Mm. Uh, it's a true story. Mm. Yeah. Where where is it going to be played? Uh, City Lights Theater in San Jose. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Bob oh, Iger. Bob, Bob, somebody just sent something to me. Bob Iger is not st- quitting, but he will step down when his contract expires in 2026. And what they're currently doing is they're, they're saying who's probably going to replace him. Well, good. I'm glad that that was clarified. Yeah, I can sleep now. Yeah, me too. Good night. Hey, uh, is New York bad like January, the first week of January after New Year's? The weather? Well, it depends, weather? really. You know, it's cold. I mean, it's it's cold. Bring your godfather with but us, in uh, the last God... couple of years, we haven't even had any real uh, uh, Snow? snowfall. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I can't. S- for you, Brian. You, actually, the worst <laughs> month, if, if, if the worst month for winter is, is uh, uh, February. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Mm. Are you being transferred there now? Hmm? Yeah, I'm planning uh, my next trip. My next. Well, I have a couple trips coming up, but my next trip after those, so January. I think the second, the first week of January, I'm going to go up to New York. Well, come on so, into New York. You know. Yeah. And if you need, I do the touristy stuff, and then see you guys, and then yeah. Mm. Yeah, and if you need a place to stay, you know. No, it's okay. Don't want you talking about me when I'm snoring in the hall. You hear me snoring through the hallways. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wake everybody up. No, or you do the, if I go, I'll do the touristy stuff. But, yeah, I'll definitely hang out with you guys. We'll go out. Yeah, no, I'd love to see you. love to yeah, see yeah. you. Same mm-hmm. goes for any of you. you know. oh, oh, and Tony, and Tony, if you're listening, I will come and see you, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> I don't need, like, 30 texts from you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> And if you don't go to see him, he will never talk to you again. No. Wait a minute. Oh, really? Wait a minute. No, that's, a, that's a bonus. That's what yeah, I somebody do. just made a comment that he should have done this a long time ago. Phil said that he should have he should have blocked Tony a long time ago. His life is so much quieter. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You guys are me. Yeah. yeah. Oh. He actually has a, a more interesting life than we can believe. Yeah. Bill or Tony? Tony. 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 Yeah, well, I mean, it's a strange life. Yeah. Well, you know, I, <laughs> I, I get the feeling that he wasn't all that smart to start with, but boy, is he smart, so. Well, no, he's, Tony, it, it, not is, Bill. it isn't a matter of, 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 of smart. Oh, well, here comes, here comes smart Tony. Here we go. <laughs> he, you know, he's like, he's like Beetlejuice. You say his name three times and he's here. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a head for business. Huh? There you go. Yeah, he does definitely. Hey, so, so Tony, Tony, if I don't come see you in New York in January, are you, will you not never text me again? I don't know, but if you come, uh, let me know because I'll take you out for lunch or something. I can get okay. you. I can get you. Maybe in, uh, I can ask my brother to get you a ticket for the Freedom Center uh, Tower. I can ask. Oh, him. okay. You let me know if you're coming. Yeah, just give me your brother's number then. Who wants okay, to come you know to what tell you? Why are you bothering him? <laughs> Who wants to go to the Freedom Tower? Well, it's up to him. I might be able to get you a play ticket, too. I'm going to see the Robert Downey Jr. play Saturday. I got free tickets. There I'm like, what minute. play is it? Oh, hold on a second. Is there uh, a my ro- brother got me the tickets. I don't know the exact name, Ray. I can get it for you later. He has Wait it upstairs. I seats. have heard about oh. nothing about a Robert Downey Jr. play. Oh, yeah. That's because you don't follow have the you? business news. It's limited, I think, Ray, and like he's only going to be here like twelve weeks, Alex. Oh, I didn't okay. either. Ted, my brother got me tickets. It's a surprise. Mm. That's cool. Well, Brian's going to be there January fourth, so plan that week out for him. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, you let me know. He wants to spend every day of his vacation <laughs> with you. That's not. Me. I know that, but at least Brian's oh, nice. I mean. And if you want, just tell me what you want to do. Yeah, you I, I want to get some comics, do. and you and I will go get some comics graded, and maybe we go send some comics in the mail. That'd be fun. 
But I can take you there if you want to go to Cats or something, whatever you want. Let me know. That's <laughs> no, no, no. You're going to take Every... him to Cats's? Are you kidding me? That piece I mean, of crap? Oh, it's good to Cats there. Whatever cats, he wants to cats, do. If he wants listen, to go. I lived across the street I know, you from over Cats's. There. The Shecky told me, yeah. I lived across the street from Cats's, and I still wouldn't go there again. Really? You yes. don't like the matzo ball soup, Alex? I can. You go right next take door. From my you go right next door, and there's a place called Ruth. Rona Schimmel. No, Rona Schimmel. I think is closed down. Rona Schimmel. Is it closed? I used to go there for my uh, my it, knishes. They used to have knishes. <laughs> no, uh, right next to uh, Katz's is Russ and Daughters. Oh yeah. yeah. Now you want to get is great that food? Right? That's where you get the great food. You have to. Yeah, take you're it right home. about that. They have all this uh, people waiting there. But, but they they, they do have they do have a restaurant around the corner, so you can get all the stuff that's in yeah. Russ and Daughters over there, and I'm sure you can get a matzo ball soup that would yeah. make Katz's taste like shit, which it already does. My mother liked the matzo ball. <laughs> I used to get it for her, and they used to get the you want to shimmel, then jump on the train and come back to Queens. Do you realize we're doing a show here for the <laughs> entire United States, and we're talking about yeah. Jew food? <laughs> and, um, so <laughs> New York, too. New York. Yeah. 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 Yep. New York centered Jew food conversation. You can't beat that. Hey, we can always get shakes, Brian, too. Chinatown. What? Chinatown, Alex. What? What do you, you get go in Chinatown? Chinatown? Wait, 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 what do you get in Chinatown? Chink food. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Ch- Alex, it's Chinatown. It's an internet. Right. You know, Chinatown in New York, I think, is smaller than the one we're out in San Francisco. I think your area is bigger. Chinatown is huge in San Francisco. All yeah, shit. it's bigger by you guys. Love. I told that to my brother when we went, Ray. To all the Chinese, wait a minute, to all the Chinese people who might be listening, and you live in the greater New York area, please do not spit in my food when I come oh, to yeah, your right. restaurant. <laughs> but his name Whatever is you Tony Magno. You can't miss him. Look at him, okay? Oh yeah. I'm not dying, so that's good. This is a guy who who said it. It's an old Italian-looking dude. <laughs> exactly right. He got it right. <laughs> I went to. The, I went for See, my check. We got the nose. Today. Yeah, the, they gave my check. I'm gonna live. At my PSA is undetectable, so that's good. All right. No, the I'm other sure thing. people are gonna come there just to check. Yeah. PSA. <laughs> my brother picked me up. I don't know. The thing, I, the thing that bothers me in life is that uh, I'm going to be uh, when I die. Tony will probably still yeah. be alive. Yeah, I'm going to the funeral. But I've decided about death. I think I know what it's all yeah. about. Once I'm Please. dead, you all disappear. And we're gonna miss him. <laughs> hey, <laughs> wait a minute! You're all gone. You know, you because you're uh, just a figment of my imagination. He's gonna be like, thank God I'm away from these guys already. <laughs> yeah, I know what we're gonna do. We can do. We gotta do something for him. God forbid. What? For me, I don't know. we could do a Hell's Angel funeral. We can all whiz on his on his coffin. We have to keep your memory. Coffin, but there hopefully is no coffin. Time. Marjorie, if I go first, Marjorie is going to turn me into a crispy critter. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Okay, you better write a will, Alex, to make sure your wishes. Boil a bowl cleaner. She could have you stuffed. Oh, she <laughs> has his... That'd be funny, like with the fingers out. Fuck you. <laughs> well, now she she has us going back. She already made out a a, a will a while back yeah. that he she did online, you know. Nice. But now she wants to get a a official lawyer to make us a will. Mm, yeah, a living trust. That's yeah. what I have. A living trust. Yeah. Yep. So do I. What's yeah. the difference between that and a will? Well, well a will a was it? Wi- yeah. Oh, go ahead, Ray. Well, will is is part of a living trust, but the living trust you can designate all kinds of other things uh, in terms of what you want with your assets. Power of attorney for put... medical. Power of attorney yeah. for, for uh, finances. You can you can designate different people to do that. Um, well, Shecky had a living trust, to... but he barely had it for two months, so it didn't live very long. Power of attorney for dentistry, you could put Tony in that position. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ray, you want, guys, you want to hear something funny? Phil actually had a funny joke one time, Ray and Alan. I go, he goes, you know, sometimes I thought you were Jewish. I says, well, because, you know, I said, what makes you say? He says, I knew you weren't Jewish. I said, well, how did you know? He says, because I looked at your teeth and they were all fucked up. <laughs> That's actually funny, I thought. I said, you know, that is funny, I said. That's true. 
Oh, I'm still mad at him though, Alex. If Comes you had, said, if you had said something dollars. about you know that he's missing a tooth back here, he'd hang up on you. He, he'd have a cow over that. So, I mean, you're still pissed at, at Phil. I am, Alex. Because you know what? I would have just he wanted to say hello. Talk, I would have given a couple of tickets to him any, any longer, and I'm not pissed at him. I know. I know. I know. In I'll fact, say, I'm grateful. <laughs> what? Why is he pissed at you? Why are you Who, pissed me? at him? Well, I just wanted to go say hello for an hour when he was here over the weekend. Maybe buy a couple of coffee, say hello. I had a couple of records from what he gave him. I would have said hello to him and his girlfriend. I would have went home. My brother, we would even said I would have drove him to the airport on the way out if he wanted well, he to. He came and saw me. Yeah, that was nice, I thought. That was it. That's well. Tony's point. He didn't see you. He saw, I mean, he saw you, but he didn't. I, I, didn't see I haven't that. seen I him. I haven't see seen Tony. Phil physically in my yeah, present see? presence in, what, 30 years? He's taken a long time. Same right? here. I haven't seen you physically in 30 years. Hmm? You don't remember me, but I haven't seen you in 30 years. That, well, where, where, when was that? When did I see you? Well, one of the Breakfast with Bennett's or your, your oh, high school. Uh, it, was longer, it, it was longer than that. Really? Oh, yeah, because maybe 80s. Oh, my gosh, 2024. It has oh, to be shit. more than 30 years. It's like like, it's like 35 like years. 40 years. Holy shit. Yeah. I get to see him once in a while. Yeah, he gets lately, to see me once in a while. It's been a problem. And, and so yeah, does Tony, many. Tony, I've only seen Tony once. No, more than once. I, I, I to, and I went to your <laughs> show in the city, Alex. Remember when you had it at the studio? What? Oh, did, I was you, at come, the studio did you come when to you were the doing studio? It, yeah. yeah, you told me to come down and I, I did. I found it. Oh, yeah, and that's where, uh, where, where uh, uh, um, Albert nice. invited you to my, yeah. my party. Yeah. You know who wanted me to go to? It was Shecky. He kept telling me, go, go, go. So I said, all right. I wasn't going to actually go because I didn't know anybody. Well, I only went because the two of them were bugging me about it. I only let you oh. come because they were bugging me about it. It's all right. It's no hard feelings. They, they, they said, just let them go to this party one time. You'll never see no, them again. No, but I didn't know you at all. Okay. No, exactly. We never met, really. Yeah. So Lucky you, Alan. And then Lucky. I lifted the silver, like Phil said, I lifted the silverware. Yeah. I'm joking. Well, there is some gone. <laughs> Phil, Phil probably. My mother says, "Bring cookies to him." She thought she said, "You got to bring something good." I said, "All right, mom." What do I we bring? had we all kinds of food and champagne, and we. Yeah, you had a nice. It but was, I couldn't go. It was our, It was actually some. our combination uh, wedding celebration and uh, and uh, what was it? Uh, 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 housewarming. Mm. And you wanted Tony to be there? But you know what's funny, no, Alex? No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. No. It was Albert and it was Shecky. Uh -oh. Yeah, Shecky. And they you wanted him funny, here. Alex? I want... remember when you invited me in and, guys, he was walking me down. You have a beautiful place. And you go, and you, I remember you saying this. He goes, and this is the guest room. And I said, oh, I can stay here. And I think Marjorie might have well, got scared. He's they, leaving. Both, it. both Shecky. <laughs> Alex, I'm up. Let's see, go help. Let's watch you, a movie. Get him out of here. But you violated <laughs> the rules. Both Shecky and Albert said you could come if you wore footy pajamas. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> and you came, didn't come wearing footy he pajamas. Checked, he said, he's actually normal, remember? He's a little zany. Yeah. He, you know, was, I miss him so much. I was thinking about him the other day, and my mother, I was like, you know, I was like, oh, man. Because I wanted to send him an email. I was watching the Batman Penguin, and I said, let me, let me see if he knows this character. Well, he's not here. I said, I was, I was a little bummed for a second. Mm-hmm. Yeah. you think of certain things, like you would have made the character. Bill? No, Shecky, I was saying. Oh, oh, Shecky. So say nobody so, so, when you can't email Phil. Phil Phil doesn't call in once at uh, once a week anymore. No, uh. no, mm -mm, no, no, uh. nah. Nah. He's in a Yeah, he off the system. huh? He's off the system. He's off, he's the, off the grid. Yeah, he's off, off the, grid. the grid. Yeah, he hasn't called in a while. I'm trying to keep the audio. For some reason, the audio on the uh, guest tonight is louder than it should be. So. Oh. I'm getting nervous, guys, about this election. I I, I don't know. I why are you, why are you getting him. nervous about it? I think he's going to win. I don't know why. I don't think yeah. so. I Did hope you you're right. We pray to God. I, I think I think she's going to. I think there's a lot of. I think there are a lot of Republicans who say they're going to vote for Trump and they're not going to. Well, I hope you're right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. well, when they get when they face that ballot. <laughs> when they what? I mean, he when when they're looking at that choice. I mean, he's been really doing some shitty things lately. Yeah, 
all the Hitler stuff and all that. Yeah, did he say that, Ray? What he said, he he wishes he had guys, men around him like Hitler. I mean, he said yeah. I I mean, I've heard him say that before in private, and then now it was it was confirmed again by Kelly, the general. Uh, so on, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, his latest yeah. statement about this veteran that died that that, that he would promise to pay the funeral cost for it, and he refused to pay it because he said. That, it was it was too much money for a effing Mexican. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, it was too much to yeah, pay for an effing that. for a fucking Mexican. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. And now, his but, on, Charlie, we're all adults here. You can say the F word. <laughs> and you know something? In spite of it all, he never loses. He didn't lose any of the Latino vote. I don't yeah, what the hell's that. with that? I mean, is, well, you know what you know talking. what they are. Everybody, everybody on his side is in a in a sense of denial. You know, they, it's a mass man, man uh, amnesia, uh, and uh, they just want to believe that. Oh, he didn't say that, or they're just saying he said that. No, they're not just saying he said that. He's only joking, or it's AI, yeah, or CGI or AI. Or they, you know, I've heard. So in the news too. today, business news, I actually captured it for somebody else. 23 Nobel Prize winning economists slam Trump agenda and endorse Harris today. Oh, well, those, uh, those, those, those same 20, Trump those are the same business. 23 that have been putting him down over the months. Well, I months. didn't say the names of them. I don't have the whole article. Yeah, yeah. I just captured the screenshot and sent it to my friend. Yeah. So anyway, you know, I mean, I, 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 here's why I don't think he's going to win. I think that, number one, the polls are not capturing the actual problem that he creates and uh, the, the actual voting that is going to go on. They can't capture those people who, to a person who, calls him and somebody's in the room listening says who are you going to vote for and you go okay I'm voting for Trump because you got all these Trump people in the room with him yeah. when they get into that you know the voting booth is the most private place in America yeah. uh, if there was anything or, more private I'd masturbate there um, a confessional yeah yeah so you and, masturbate in a confessional I hope you're right Priest, it'd probably. Be, it'd be such a dark day in in I think in this history. If, you don't need to said to him, the, the confessional. The priest will take care of you. No, but I agree yeah. with I agree with Ray. I think there's a great difference between what people say and what people do. Yeah. And so. um, I, I have no idea why anyone, buddy, in any one of different groups. For instance, the, let's take the Latinos for a moment. Supposedly, uh, male Latinos do not like Kamala. Why? Well, she's a woman, and she's black. Okay? All right. But they don't like her. But the choice you've got is a guy who just referred to your people as those fucking Mexicans. Mexicans. Yeah. You know? Now, do you vote for somebody like that? Now, maybe you don't want to, so don't vote for that person. Just go to the polls, vote for your senators, vote for your congressmen. And go home and don't vote for president. You can do that. Yep. Or and Vance, huh? I was gonna say, and Vance said something about to the the Las Vegas homeowners. They were saying something about Mexicans were taking their homes now too. It's like so stupid. Hmm. They're, they're, they're spreading all kinds of fake rumors about stuff. I mean, they were spreading fake rumors about FEMA. And so people went out and started shooting yeah. at FEMA people. Imagine that. People are only trying to help people getting shot at. What's this all about? So my feeling is that if he gets reelected, it's no. It's exactly what this country deserves. I mean, you and I don't deserve it, but this country deserves it. And you know, um, who was it? Jefferson said something to the extent of, "We're a republic as long as you fight for it." You know, and we're a democracy as long as you fight for it. And 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 so I just I don't understand these people. I don't. You know who I don't understand? 
Uh, well, I haven't made up my mind yet. Yeah. Right. What? Oh, I don't what? believe that. Yeah. <laughs> when they say that, I don't believe it. That's I'm not going to tell you what to do. Exactly. That's right. That's right, Jeff. Yeah, but I mean, I I I, I haven't made up my mind yet. Well, That's okay, bad. you know, you're a moron. Right. <laughs> you know, you're an absolute yeah, moron. What, what else do you need? Yeah. That's right. That's a good point. What else do you need? And you anybody who could, you, you know, uh, all I'm saying is that you could be a right wing conservative, and still find this person, this person personally repugnant to you. You know, this is not the kind of human being you want to have be your president. You know, and it, it's sad. It's really sad that, that he, that, he, that we're even sitting here saying, I wonder who's going to win. Yeah. You know? And all, and all the indictments and the convictions and the, yeah. and the, and, and, and the, and being a civilly convicted, uh, you know, sexual molester. forget about that. Saying that Hitler did some January good, th that Hitler did some good things. Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, uh, I'd or like you to name six... one. I'd like you to name one. Oh yeah. yeah. Excuse me. He did. He killed the Jews. All right. Okay. He did one good thing. Yeah, that was the one good thing. Thanks. Yeah. It doesn't cost sixty thousand to bury a effing Mexican, fucking yeah. Mexican. What the That's hell, what he said. man? And by the way, the guy was a uh, a hero of war. He was, yeah, he was the war hero. Uh, war hero. Uh, war. Yeah. Well, it's like John McCain too. You know, I don't like. He got caught. He's a loser. I don't like losers. That's how I can't believe he's gonna he's gonna win Arizona after the way he treated and spoke. He, about look, I, none of this is looking good for him in any of these states. Okay, I mean, you're worried about it because you see that Kamala doesn't is, is is about even with him in these states mm. but the fact is if you were a trump person you'd probably be worried because uh, she was you know equal with him in these states i think he's going to take pennsylvania she's going to take pennsylvania i think she's going to take arizona and north carolina yeah i think she's going to take, take north carolina i think she he's may... done if she gets those huh I think he's done if she gets those three states. Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe she, maybe she'll get Texas and, and Wyoming, too. <laughs> I don't know if she'll get Texas, but uh, if he'll get Texas. Or she so. she will get Texas. get Texas. But I think Cruz is going down. You do think that's so? A, that's a good thing. Yeah. All Red is looking more and more like he's going to win. My money way. is going to, is, is, is being spent wisely. What do you mean your money's being spent I, wisely? I gave money to uh, all uh, to uh, all Ren. Uh, all Ren. Yeah. Yep. yep. The guy that's going against that's going against Cruz and somebody, one of our Republican friends that doesn't come on the show anymore, said, "What did you waste your money on that guy? They they're in Texas." I said, "Yeah, but he's a U.S. senator, not a Texas senator." Oh. Of course, he likes. Well, he he likes, what? He likes, he likes Cruz. He likes Cruz. Why? That I never ask because I don't really care. Good travel planner. Well, I guess yeah. I guess he can now agree with uh, Trump that he likes uh, Hitler. That you know Hitler right. Hitler did some good things. So yeah. If and if Hitler did do any quote unquote good things, it was all it was all to further his his yeah. horrible goal his of, agenda. of of yep. killing. Well, he said he hired great he alien. hired great generals. What? Yeah, that's what Trump said, yeah. Do you know how many times they tried to assassinate him? Yeah. <laughs> well, part of the problem is that Trump has absolutely no grasp of history. No, he doesn't know history. He doesn't know history at all. Yeah. He, doesn't, he doesn't know the Bible. He doesn't know history. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know the Constitution. He doesn't know country. the Constitution. Yep. Yep. It's a joke. You're right. No, there's no place... Being president of the United States isn't is, is well. You know, case. I mean, uh, all I'm saying is he gets elected president. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm going to be in Europe. <laughs> I, I don't have to come back. You know, you guys are all on your own. I can go to France anytime I want. Really? <clears throat> well, my whole family has. Well, maybe I can't, but they can. They all have uh, European passports. Mm. Well, uh, uh, my friend uh, uh, Albert Reynoso just went down to re-up uh, his uh, 
his Swiss passport. Uh, he's he he has Swiss. He's Swiss. He's part Swiss. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. That's good. Yeah. So I, I mean, think so I go to Israel. Huh? <laughs> oh yeah, let's go, go, go there. Well, that yeah, was our second okay. choice for a vacation. Our first was um, um, <laughs> y- Ukraine. So you know, it was either Ukraine or that. Uh, well, how, you know something we we talk about Trump. You know, let's talk some doo doo here about Netanyahu. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh, what a terrible human being. Trump oh. with a high IQ. <laughs> Uh, I I don't know how high that is, you know. But he he he's wants smart dude, he, he's apparently. he's doing what he's doing primarily because he wants to uh, keep from yeah, getting deal. thrown in prison himself. Yeah. The right. only reason that Trump is hoping to win this is he knows if he doesn't, it's off to jail with him. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Because on the twenty second of November, guess what comes up? Beside, of course. The day that Kennedy was shot, I, Trump I, gets know, sentenced. Yeah, yeah, you know, and he'll get sentenced to a slap on the wrist. I don't that. think so. I don't think so. I, I think this guy's going to give him whatever the maximum is for that. You know. Yeah. But if I, he becomes president, he'll pardon himself or have the. He can't the pardon himself. He can't pardon he'll himself. Have the attorney general, he'll have the attorney he cannot general pardon himself. It. He cannot pardon himself from this because it's a local matter. It's not a federal matter. He can only pardon himself. He can't pardon anybody if it isn't a federal charge. Right. Okay. So. Are you talking which 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 trial are you talking about? uh, It's. uh, I believe it's the one. uh, Which one was it? It, it, There are two 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 of them here. One of them was the one where he wound up having to owe. How many millions of dollars? And then there was, the, was the other one. one. Yeah. Then the, then there was the other one. Oh, George, where he where he's paying yeah, off Stormy he, Daniels. He's paying yeah. off Stormy Daniels, and uh, he's not paying enough money, and you know, for yeah. all that other stuff. Yeah. That's the one where he had thirty nine counts, uh, thirty nine felonies. But thirty nine felonies. Were, yeah. That's the one he's being sentenced on. Yeah. But he can't, if he becomes president, he cannot pardon himself. No way he can pardon himself. These are so all... he might be president in jail. Mm. He could easily be president cool. in jail, yeah. <laughs> that would be something, boy, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah it would be. They're going to fight. They're going to build him an down. oval cell. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> an oval cell. <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous. He'd love it. He'd love it. The trouble is that they have stainless steel toilets in prison, not solid gold like he prefers. Yeah. Mm. Well, you know, I mean, it, it. Do they have Depends in prison? I hope. I don't know. <laughs> well, also, they better have lots of deodorizer because he farts like crazy. <laughs> Did you hear him last week when he mm-hmm. farted in the middle yeah, of his speech? He farted that in the middle great. of his speech. Yeah. That was so great. Anybody see Obama speak yesterday? Yes. Wasn't he spectacular? Yes. Really? Yes. The guy still got it. God, he was good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but he's really good. I sat there listening to him going, can we get him back as president? Oh, I know. I know. At least if you think about it, back when he was president, there was no drama. Obama for dictator. Oh, yeah. I mean, Trump was serving French fries. Maybe he was doing that photo op at McDonald's. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that hurt McDonald's. McDonald's is doing yeah. all kinds of damage control now. Well, they they, they shouldn't give da- do damage control because the only reason they did this thing was they were paid to do it. Right. Yeah. They were paid to do it. They were given uh, money uh, yeah. to that restaurant uh, yep. To take over the place for a day, yeah, a couple hours. Yeah, yep. yeah. You know, it was all a photo op. Yeah, well, I mean, I I have no intent. Oh, and by the way, uh, the Justice Department has warned Elon Musk. Yeah. yeah. They've warned him that what he's doing may violate federal law, and that he could 
you know, be found guilty of that if he, you know. You know, the, you know a lot of people are wondering why Musk is, is, is backing Trump. It's real simple. Because if Trump becomes president, the government is going after Musk on several big things. Something with Tesla, something with SpaceX. And those government cases will go away if Trump becomes president. And that's why he's backing him. Well, I think he's what also mean, he's also ba- he's also backing him because of the kind of business that Trump can sp- sp- send his way to Tesla and oh, to Starlink and. Yeah, yeah, we, but the yeah, thing I is, love- this government doesn't want to stop doing business with uh, with uh, Elon Musk because they do like what SpaceX is doing. They do yeah. like the Starlink system. They think it's very important now, you know. So. Uh, they have no intention of, of dumping him. But I'll tell you another one thing. Uh, how many here now would buy a Tesla? No way. Mm-mm. No. no mm-hmm. not, not in the Bay Area. We have power. <laughs> Look. <laughs> and there he is. No. I mean, we. Uh, I, I, I just, you know, I mean, I think the Tesla is a great car. I like the idea of the car. I like it self-driving and all that, you know. Mm-hmm. And a few years ago, that would have been the car I would have looked at just because, hey, you know, especially if it was a second car, okay? But what's happened uh, is that I think he's lost himself a lot of business. I mean, at least 50% in this country now will not buy a Tesla. So what does he think he's doing? Is he trying to bankrupt himself? And I hope he doesn't, because I think, you know, SpaceX is terrific. But then again, it's not that he's this great scientist, you know. He's not the Edison of our time. But he uh, does have concepts, and then he finds the people to pull, pull off those concepts. And so far as SpaceX is concerned... Um, that's a concept he, he came up with, but he went out and got smart people to do it. So, I mean, the fact that he, he pulled that off, fine, but don't credit him with, you know, with SpaceX being a wonderful thing. And I don't want to see him screw up his name that much that, that SpaceX gets hurt by it. There. Because I like well. SpaceX. I think they're just... I, when I saw them... Catch those two, you know, secondary modules in what they call the sh- chopsticks. Mm. It was just, it, it, was that not the most amazing thing you've ever seen, Charlie? Yeah. Pretty good. I mean, that's the Trump, thing. Trump was impressed, too. Everybody was impressed. <laughs> you know, that's the only thing he's done in the last month or so <laughs> that anybody says, hey, look what, look what, look what Elon Musk did. But he didn't do it. All those people who work for him yeah. did it. And uh, Not that car that looks like terrible. Oh, the Jeep, no, the no. Uh, the uh, the uh, truck. Oh yeah. The truck. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's a bunch of them. I live yeah. re- real close you see to them a Tesla all over dealer. The place here in the Bay Area. Yeah, there's a bunch yeah. of them in my Bay neighborhood. Area everywhere. Yeah. Bay Area is very big on Teslas. Oh, uh, uh, you especially yeah. Silicon yeah. Valley. You find very few of them here in New York City. Well, Silicon uh, Valley yeah. everywhere. Yeah, the you see, plant is two miles from where I live, south of here. Yeah, when I when I commute, I see the nonstop just big trucks, the semis with like you know eight or eight or whatever of them on. Yeah, and you go when you drive here, you see like Tesla, te- and you see like white Tesla, white Tesla, white Tesla. Oh, red Tesla. Yeah. Oh, there's another car, another car. Oh, there's a red Tesla, a blue Tesla, white Tesla, white Tesla, white Tesla. There's a lot of Teslas in Austin too. I'd yeah. say in my street. Uh, about fifty percent of the houses have yeah. a Tesla in the driveway. Yeah. Yeah. But here in here in here in New York City, here here in New York City, that's not the case. Okay, so you know. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to put the theme on here. You hear that, guys? Can you hear that? Yeah. Good. Hey, listen. Uh, you know, well, we only got what uh, less than two weeks before this whole nightmare is over with, or the nightmare begins. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's right. Let's but, all do the Trump. Uh... Yeah, let's start dancing. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, go ahead.
off two people at one time. Boy, he's talented. Yeah. Anyway, like everybody, thank you so much, uh, Jeff, and thanks, Charlie, and thanks to Ray, and thanks to Alan, and thanks to uh, Brian, and thanks to, uh, of course, to Tony. Uh, everybody, uh, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big, big, big wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. There'll be another one starting up right here, right now, with... Uh, um, with Amy Manuel and the intersection, and you can call her on Skype at Gabnet Live. Okay, see it again tomorrow. Pfft, the same time I can't talk. Same night, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, bye everybody.